<laughs> Atomic vomit, also known as radioactivity. There are several different types of radioactivity that you can have. This setup right here contains a sample of radioactive material in protective shielding with a pinhole in the front where the radioactivity is forced to go in only one direction. We have a screen here coated with zinc sulfide which glows when it's hit with energized particles. We have a battery hooked up to some terminals. One negative, the other positive. When this thing undergoes decay, if the particles have a charge, they'll be attracted to one of these two plates. Let's start off with the first particle. This first particle of radioactivity is called an alpha particle. It's made of two protons and two neutrons. It has the formula 4,2-HE. And it's known as an alpha particle. Because of the two protons, this gives the alpha particle a charge of plus two. Therefore, when it is emitted, being positive, it'll be attracted to the negative electrode and cause the screen to glow down here. That's an alpha particle. Next up is a beta particle. A beta particle is a high energy electron shot out of the nucleus. The way this works is a neutron can be thought of in simplest terms as a proton with an electron stuck onto it. A positive and a negative, in other words, that cancel out and give you a neutral charge. This electron is shot out of the nucleus when a neutron turns into a proton. The electron being negative will be attracted to the positive electrode and cause a glow up there. This is known as a beta particle. It has no mass, a charge of negative one, and a symbol of E. The third kind of radioactive decay is called a positron. It's basically the same as an electron, except it's got an opposite charge. It's antimatter. This particle, when emitted from the nucleus, will turn a proton into a neutron. And being positively charged, is attracted to the negative terminal. Being less massive than the alpha particle, it'll be deflected further. So let's move this up here. And this particle, referred to as a positron, has essentially no mass, a charge of positive one, and the symbol of E. That's a positron. Finally, when atoms go from higher energy states to lower energy states, they give off electromagnetic radiation. Now, when this happens to electrons, when they go from a higher energy level, excited state, to a lower energy level, ground state, they give off light maybe in the visible range of spectrum, red light, green light, one, two, three. They may also give off ultraviolet or infrared, or even, if you've got a really, really big atom, like tungsten, x-rays. But in the case of a nucleus going from a high energy level to a low energy level, when any of these particles are given off, you can also get gamma rays given off, or gamma rays can be given off by themselves. This gamma ray has no charge. It's just a particle of light, and therefore goes right through, completely unaffected by the charged plates. Zero mass, zero charge, and the symbol is the Greek letter gamma. Another way of thinking about it is an alpha particle is great big and chunky. It's like a nice big vomit. <laughs> great big chunks get blown out. So an alpha particle is like an atom that blows chunks. Beta particles, whether they're beta negative or beta positive, are like vomit burps, verbs. You know, when you go, you know, chunky burps. They really don't have much in the way of mass, but they're still very annoying. Except beta particles negative charge, positron is positive charge. They are the verb of the decay family. And gamma rays are the belch of the decay family. They don't cause you to lose any mass. They don't cause you to lose any charge. They just make you feel a whole lot better.